Okay guys, in this video I'll be talking about a new feature in Pokemon Go I think should be added and it's right there. So guys, let's get into this. Okay, so before we actually get into this video, at the top right now you should be able to see a link to a 500 subscriber giveaway video that I have on the channel. So basically go ahead, watch that, comment on that video, like that one, subscribe to the channel and you have a chance of winning either straight up cash or any top up cards you could imagine. The winner of that will be announced on the 9th of October, so guys, go ahead and watch that and you'll be entered in if you just follow those steps. So, the first thing that I want to show you is basically just this little button down here. Now, obviously this is basically my little kind of like photoshopped, like, addition of that button, I guess. I don't know if anyone else has done this on YouTube, but this is a feature I really feel should be added into Pokemon Go. It's basically, an, basically just an updated Pokedex. So, if you see here, it's just, let's imagine we click that. Now the next picture that you'll see is basically the Pokedex will pop up on that screen. So this could be a wild Pokemon or a Pokemon you own. It'll pop up to this instead of the just like plain kind of purpley background with all the text and font. And what you'll notice down here, there's a cross button to obviously jump back out of this or there's a little kind of like speaker button. Now you might be thinking, why would you want a speaker button? Now this is because if you watch the old cartoons, not so much the games, but the cartoons, um, whenever Ash come across like a brand new Pokemon, he would always flick out his Pokedex and the Pokedex would always give him like a little explanation to what the Pokemon was and like kind of little bits about it. So kind of like for the Rhyhorn, you're here now. Rhyhorn, the spike Pokemon. Rhyhorn is known for its physical power and its considerable offensive and defensive battle skills. So something like that. That was obviously from the original cartoon and you know, obviously it has the background music, so obviously without the background music, maybe get someone in and they just do a whole new list for all the Pokemon. All he has to do is basically either just copy whatever's already written down on the game, like the little descriptions that are on it, or go back to the original cartoon and get their like, kind of like shorter and more sweeter to the point kind of uh, explanations about the Pokemon or little bits of details about them. And then the next Pokemon I have here, just for another example of it, is basically just a Snorlax. And obviously, what I was thinking is when you're on there, obviously I didn't put any buttons down here to go to like the next Pokemon. It's just you scroll through or maybe have a little button down here like a grid so you can see all the Pokemon on there. Obviously these are pictures, that's why that's just popped up. But then you just tap, let's just say we tap the uh, the speaker and then this is what you hear for the Snorlax. Snorlax is the heaviest species of all known Pokemon with some weight more than 1,000 pounds. And again, obviously that's from the original cartoon from when Ash actually first encounters a Snorlax, I think. And it basically gives him like basically just saying this is one of the biggest Pokemon. It can weigh up to like I think I think it said about a thousand pounds. And yeah, so obviously without all the like the background sounds to it, just like the Pokedex voice popping up, I think that'd be pretty sweet. Because whenever I used to watch it, that was kind of like the thing you would always get in every episode, as well as like a who's that Pokemon kind of little gamey show kind of bit after. And also I think it was on the first episode. I think you had the Pokemon rap, but yeah. You can forget the Pokemon rap, but just throw this in, this Pokedex, like this is my little design to it. I didn't want to take it too far away from like the original Pokedex, like the Gen 1 Pokedex. I think that's pretty cool. It's pretty simple to use and easy to like kind of adapt to an iPhone's kind of screen, just stretching the screen and taking away all the buttons underneath. Sorry, I have some flies around me. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this idea. This is my idea. You can see it on my Twitter. I'll have that down in the link as well, just some pictures I put up. Let me know if you think this is a good idea that they should add to like basically a brand new Pokedex into the game. Have like the original kind of like red background to it and everything like that. And maybe as new generations come out like they did in the game, always keep updating the Pokedex and maybe update it slightly like the design or something until you get to like the most current gen Pokedex or just keep it like with the original basic kind of one. But yeah guys, you can see better images of this. Hopefully I might have them on the screen over here if there was enough space to throw them on as well because obviously I had the phone in the middle of the screen. But you can also go to the link in the description to my Twitter page and you can check them out. Sorry guys, I'm still on holiday. Uh, should be back this weekend, so hopefully no more of this wind in the camera and everything like that. And if you didn't notice, I got a new camera, so the quality should be better. And yeah guys, so that's about it for the video. And over there, that little black dot, that right there is Kino chilling. So guys, subscribe to the channel, comment on this video, and as always, have a great day.